is the B-back. And Thomas on the option. He'll keep and pick up almost 10 on first down. LaFrance. Slot set for the Jackets on first and 10. And here's Scope's first carry. He gets almost 10. Maybe another first down, James. Big Patrick Scove. Now you've got Scove coming at you. That can be dangerous for a defense. Another first down toss this time. And here is Susie inside the 10, out of bounds. Almost another 10-yard game. Him yesterday, 18 inches of movement on each play is the goal. To push that defensive line back that much, then and then some. Thomas cannot avoid the sack. Blitz from front. You beeline it like that. When you heat it up and go right at him, don't give him a chance to move. JT from the pocket this time. Thomas trying to get back. And will be pulled out of bounds. Nico Marley. And he's, that was pretty good for him last year. Almost 60% on third down. Let's see if they can convert. He'll pitch it this time. Here is Searcy. He'll get to the five and die for the pylon. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech. Han Marley, his dad, yeah. was a great linebacker at Miami. Dive play on first and 10 off the Georgia Tech 10. And down or encouraging them as he was doing on the bench before they came back out. Second and five and a counter on the option read for Thomas. First down and more. And he'll step out of bounds up near the 30 and a marker in late on the play from the back judge. Is Second down and five and here's Thomas's first pass and this is Michael Summers a first down stretching toward the 24 yard line. Step in because Darian Monroe as Jen told us off the top is suspended today. Dive play for Scove and but that's illegal now. That's a flag. <laughs> the guy doesn't think he's down. You shove him down. Now that's a different story. Here's the counter again on second and long. And the pitch and Snotty fumbled it. Loose change. Ball still bounding around, and the green wave have it at the 25 of Georgia. Georgia Tech defensively. Offense back out with Thomas. And a quick pitch on the option. Searcy juggled it, kept his feet, and got a couple of yards before Jared Franklin. And the tone was set by this two-lane defense. They need to take care of it. Here's Thomas again coming on the option. Kept it, spins, eludes, first down. Wow. Almost gave you the full catalog of moves there, didn't he? A little spin right there to move the chains. I see you Labor Day night, Braxton Miller. Let me show you what I got, right? <laughs> Here is Scove. And just hammering away, Patrick. Second effort to midfield, maybe. Corey Redwine from here in the Atlanta area. He's in that Orange Bowl game. Here is Scove again. Dive play behind left guard and left tackle. And Patrick Scove gets the first. Play matters. He's playing like a senior that really gets it. But every time he carries the ball, there aren't many more carries left in his college career. Here's Thomas pumps. Now throws. And that's Brad Stewart, the freshman, with the catch. Stewart and Marcus Marshall, pretty special athletes. First down and 10. Here's the toss, and this is Broderick Snotty trying to find the cutback and get to maybe the 24-yard line. Eric Thomas, the middle big offseason, not only rehab, Broderick got married in June. And here is Marcus Marshall, 184-yard, two-touchdown star of last Thursday. Like the walking dead, nobody <laughs> on the streets. Third and short, Marshall will have the first down toward the 16. Running up and down the field, trying to punch it in again to start the second. Thomas on first down as we start period number two inside the 10. Cooper made a couple good tackles, no field today. And here's Marcus Marshall's second carry, Tanzel Smart. 11th play of the drive. Here is Sko. Diving, did he make it? No. Well, he's ruled a touchdown here by the official on the near side. So Patrick Johnson's defense. Marshall and Searcy are the A backs. Thomas throws it here to the near side. This is Ricky June. His first catch of the day down to the green wave. Being a really big score in the ball game. You're gonna get off the field. You're absolutely right. And the kick cover was terrible. And Skull. Contact oriented. <laughs> no truer statement there so far in the college football season. And Justin Thomas calls his own number. See if you can get that defense off the field. They need a big three and out here. Thomas coming on the option. He'll pitch, and here's Snotty. And near midfield goes Broderick Snotty. 15-yard run for Broderick Snotty. Here's Scove. And he'll get to midfield, and look at Patrick Scove fall forward. 
Williams again, the freshman. It's all about the reads. Everything happens fast and quick, but it slows down a lot in the second year. Thomas here on second down, and he'll be brought down for a loss. Just a different cat is Justin Thomas. Four for four on third down. Jackets going here looking for Stewart and overthrown. Nickerson in coverage for Tulane. With offensive line. They want to drive right down and punch it in and take every drop of momentum into the locker room. It'll be a fun halftime locker room if they can hold on to the ball and punch it in and do just that. Let's go to the 30 now for the Jackets. It's two minute old, baby. There's Thomas rolling out. Going to take the shot. Searcy there. Just overthrown. He had gotten behind Franklin. What can they do now on third down and long? Here's Thomas. Going to counter pitch it. Marcus Marshall. 25 20. Knocked out of bounds near the 15 by Donnie Lewis Jr. Inside the 20. It is scored officially a pass. In motion, that's Searcy. Here's Thomas. Rolling. Searcy open. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. It was the one series, the, the little window, when they came out of the locker room, they weren't very good against Alcorn State. Boy, Searcy, nine yards on first down. One, I'll take that play call as an offensive coordinator all day long. Yeah, that's quite Searcy who had the nine yard carry. And here's Skull to convert the short change for the. Let's keep an eye there on 52 and see what they've got for him. Right now, lined up there in that spot is Jared Franklin, a little bit deep to spot. Here's the pitch to Snotty. Midfield to the Greenway 45 goes Broderick Snotty. The nickel back where he is again right now. There he is in the middle. It was a great block, cut block on him to make that play happen. Here is Lynch, the redshirt freshman from Norcross, and Lynch out of two tackles for a touchdown. 45 yards for Clint Lynch. Night and uh, a sellout house will look on at the Bull City Classic. Duke, a nice win over Tulane last week. Here's a counter on first down, and this is Searcy picking up about five. Maybe a little bit more. And I'll tell you what, Weets, that'll be all replaced by new facility after the conclusion of this year. And here's a little slant to Michael Summers, his first catch of the day for Georgia Tech. Converts a first. Cutcliffe has done. And you change the mindset, and you, you feel it's justified to start putting a lot of money into those facilities and into that program. Here's Thomas on the option. Justin, the keeper, down near the 25 of the green wave before. And take the wrong angle. If you want to cut off the junior quarterback. There's a counter again. Tulane plays it great. And there's Nico Marley. Let's get up and run. They're pulling 310 pounders for a reason. Yeah. You can't catch him. You got to go attack him. That's better. Thomas going to take the shot for Summers and the touchdown. A play action off the option. Team. As you get a look at Matthew Jordan now coming in at quarterback. And here's a pitch. And Taquan Marshall. The freshman from Hamilton. But short yardage goal line situations. Paul Johnson loved to use them last year. Scored a lot of touchdowns. Here goes Marcus Marshall on the carry across the 25. Goes Marcus Marshall. About 20, 25 in the slot in the win over Alcorn State. And here is Matthew. Pitches and then Tequan Marshall reroutes himself on the option and going to run out of real estate. and. Finally taken out of bounds. Thomas was over. Combined for the 38 total run plays today for Georgia Tech. And Jordan in a quarterback draw. Back to his A-back roll a little bit. And he dives forward toward the 34. It'll be third. Defensively, when they're doing it on the ground and punching in the nose every snap, <laughs> it's, it's pretty demoralizing. Here is Marcus Marshall for the first down on third. Marcus Marshall out of Broughton High School in Raleigh. Now here's Matthew Jordan looking to throw. Pressed in the pocket. Coming here to the near side. And he'll get no gain on the play. There is a flag down across the way, Jen. Yeah, yeah, but still, come on. You, I mean, you got to be there early as, as a freshman, don't you? Here's a little B-back option. And Mark. During our meetings, let, let him play this play. I don't want to talk over it telling my story. But. <laughs> here comes Matthew Jordan. Little pitch. And around goes Isaiah Willis for another Georgia Tech. Third down conversions. Best team on record last year. Ninth play of the draft is a touchdown. Did he hold on? Yes! Taquan Marshall! It's 
with Jimbo Fisher. Join Batesy and Ovi Mahaley, Takeo Spikes, and Tommy Bell. Here's Matthew Jordan running the offense off the 35. Lots of room. Jordan midfield. Now he will sail. 65 yards. Weeks. The Duke game. All kinds of miscues. And now here today. Here's Brady Swilling, a quarterback now. Redshirt sophomore from Chatsworth, Georgia. And Marcus Allen, who you guys. Big time Georgia Bulldogs. And here goes Marcus Allen. And he'll have the first down. And Marcus Allen has the touchdown as Georgia Tech goes over the 60 mark. Georgia Tech to start this 2015 season. The keeper. Pick up about four on first down. Heisman coaching Georgia Tech. That's, that'll be a first down for Brady Swilling. And when you go to the 1918 Your take, being that you know what it means to play quarterback at this school, and get your take a little bit on what you've seen from Justin Thomas. Well, first of all, you got to start with poise. I mean, that's what he threw him, uh, and, and let the team uh, ride on his back, and also allow those guys to make plays and understand that he has a lot of confidence in them, I'm not trying to do it all. Uh, I think he's maturing very, very quick, uh, but it's very exciting when it gets rolling. What do you think the toughest thing is for the quarterback to run this offense? Um, sometimes the stats don't show. You know, sometimes you got just got to do your 1999 Heisman Trophy. And Georgia Tech on fourth down. And I believe Brady Swilling has fallen to the 46 of two. 10 and two in 1998 to share the ACC title. And a win over Notre Dame in the Gator Bowl on New Year's Day in Jack. Presenting our country. Absolutely. Second and short. And here's Swilling on the toss. And coming to the near side for Georgia Tech. To South Bend, Indiana next week to meet a Notre Dame team who is getting all it wants at Charlotte. Here's Swilling on the keeper. Final play of the game. Brady Swilling breaking free inside the 20. They'll move the chains, stop the clock to.